This dog was supposed to be much more than just a companion. He cost a family in Longmont $9,000 and was supposed to be a highly trained service dog, but that's not what the family got. Our Kelly Worthman on that story tonight. Kelly, many families seem to be reporting problems with their expensive service dogs. Well, Jim, several families around the state turned to that organization hoping to get a well-trained service dog, perhaps maybe for their disabled child, a spouse, or another relative. Instead, what they got were animals with diseases, some not trained at all, and many had a major financial headache. Noel's Dogs for Hope may look like a trustworthy service dog organization, but Briggs Geister believes it's all a scam. That really is not the whole picture. She bought this golden doodle from the Colorado Springs company for $9,000, thinking it would be a wise investment for her terminally ill husband. So I thought it'd be really great to have a dog to help him with some mobility. But it soon became clear Lilo was not a service dog, she was a liability. That afternoon, our palliative care nurse came, and that's when all hell broke loose. Briggs says Lilo became aggressive, knocking over the nurse, her husband, and showing signs of fear. She returned the dog, but was told she wouldn't get her money back. We don't have a dog, we don't have our money. A state investigation uncovered dozens of complaints against Noel's Dogs for Hope. Numerous failed inspections revealed dogs were housed in undersized kennels in filthy conditions and weren't properly trained. This should not be allowed to go on at all. Noel's owner has surrendered her pet care facility license and must close by the end of the month, but Briggs fears it won't be enough. My worry is that she'll open up another business. Now, the company's owner is allowed to reapply for that pet care facility license after two years. We did reach out to her for comment. Instead, we heard from their attorney, who says that they're uh, complying with the state's agreement. Reporting live, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Thank you, Kelly.